So here we are, my wife and I, out at Wildwood Lake Conservation Area, and we're gonna go for what we call a glamping backcountry canoe trip. And look at what we brought. All this, the regular dry bag, the food barrel, the pet boss, the water, because you gotta bring your own water here. You can't drink the reservoir water. It also has blue-green algae, so we're not supposed to be swimming in it. A cooler. And now my task is to get all that gear in this canoe. And here we are, all loaded up. That is quite the big load, but there's room for all of us. So let's give it a go. We are on, we're floating. us over an hour just a little bit and 3.6 kilometers here we have the site nice fire pit overlooking Wildwood Lake comes with a picnic table which we've made good use of it so far you got a bathroom that you have all to yourself because there's a because there's a lock on it tents all set up Just note, it's a bit rocky here, which is hard to put the stakes through. But this part was a lot easier. You're in a man-made reservoir, so makes sense. Here we got our rain shelter all set up. And then over here you have the trail that leads up and out of here to the 22 kilometer walking and biking trail up there that goes around uh, Wildwood Lake. So you are close to a trail that uh, it seems like there's a decent amount of users. Not too many, not too many, but you know, one to five every hour or so. And we did already have one guy try to come down here with his dog so they could get in the water, which was also odd because the water has uh, blue green algae which is toxic to dogs so we said no to that but we don't want any of our stuff to get stolen and we're also overprotective so this is the great thing about the wood bin see we've used one bin and we're able to store some of our valuables in here like our pancake box you wouldn't want to lose that no we want to keep that dry here we are at the tall grass prairie plot that runs that won a bronze pluck for rehabilitation award. Why they didn't win gold, I don't know. Lovely fen. Here's the great view. Here's my dinner. Steak, corn, and celery bread. Here's my roasted maple marshmallow. Oh no, she on fire. One of my favorite things here about camping here at Wildwood Lake is uh, the amount of diversity, the amount of nature here with all the different insects and everything. I feel like this might be more insects than you get up north because the uh, Carolinian zone is known to be one of the most diverse areas in North America. So you get a plethora of uh, insect noises, which is going to be great for sleeping and relaxing today. So much for relaxing sleep, it's pouring rain and thunder. I'm a little bit late to the party today. You're missing all the morning mist coming off of the trees. Mostly gone now. You saw a bald eagle this morning. 
But uh, we had quite the lightning show here last night. Around three o'clock in the morning. Just remember sitting out here. We were running out here to grab a few things to make sure they were stored away correctly. And just lightning everywhere. Didn't even need a flashlight. The sky was just a blaze. Here we have some beautiful pancakes. Mine. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. Enjoy. I'm gonna check out campsite 502 here. Here's the view. You're closer to the uh, dock. And you got this little bay here. Could be good for fishing. Nice chairs here. It's a beautiful lookout. You got your picnic table. And your fire pit. Wood storage bin. And your bathroom is a bit away with viewableness from the uh, trail, so you'd want to keep it locked. So you'd probably put your tent over here, overlooking the bay. Small site, and there is your path to the bathroom, but you could also take the trail right there. Just once again to give you an idea how close you are to the trail. Where my wife is is where the trail is. All right, checking out campsite 503, folks. Nice little area. Very nice bench, just more solid than ours at site 500. Look at this tent pad kind of area. It's a little bumpy, but back in here, could be flat. Still a little bit of area, not really enough area to throw a Frisbee. Here's the view. And right over there is where you launch from, so very close. Maybe 15 minutes if you're slow. Look at this, the bathroom, the path is lined to it. You're in a nice uh, white cedar plantation here. You know, maybe 50 meters from the trail. So here we have our new contraption, an outbound stove. I got this idea when I was camping from Steve because these are refillable. You can buy a contraption and refill these from an 18 pound container down to the one pound, which unlike the other containers are not refillable, not recyclable. Also that, uh, big pit boss we had earlier. I forgot the uh, adapter from the propane to the thing. So we couldn't use it. So that is why we were grilling hot dogs in this trusty pan. This is for all those fans of the empty plate on Instagram there. These sausages were delicious as you can see. Beautiful tall grass prairie here. Lots of wildflowers here. But it is hot as heck. I am just drenched in sweat. We're trying to just do uh, four kilometers this walk. We're not going to do the whole 22 kilometers. We thought about it, but then we're like, no, it's hot. When you get back to the campsite where the uh, wind coming off of the lake is keeping us nice and cool. My wife was super excited to find some uh, cool mushrooms, as you can see here. Uh, that was very nice. Some uh, puff balls and some other ones. Awesome photos, dear. Just bracing for storm number two here. Frying up veggies, we got peppers and zucchini and we're gonna make some veggie wraps. The special sauce, look at that. Yeah. That's what really makes these things. And for dessert, we have the OTG Meals Ice Cream Sammies. Let's have a look at these. Look 
at those. Mmm, freeze-dried ice cream sandwiches. Smells good. Look at that. Okay. Mmm. Great treat out here. So like in typical fashion here, we kind of forgot to do the fireside chat during the normal golden sunshine hour. It's too busy watching this water skier go by. Anyways, uh, we spent uh, this is our second night here at the Wildwood Lake Campground, Site 500. We found it was about an hour paddle to get here, three and a half kilometers. First day, first going right into a headwind. Then uh, had a nice day. The wind has been very good. It's uh, really hot out if you go up to like the trail or back to the car. But right near the lake, it's actually been keeping pretty cool. Good wind coming off of it. Uh, like I said, we can't swim in the lake due to the uh, green blue algae that's toxic. Came here, set up camp, had our food, everything else. Had a nice fire with some nice ash wood that's been delivered to the campsite for you. And. Uh, and we had the big storm last night around three o'clock in the morning. That kept us up, but we were got to hear some cool things last night, like the uh, great horned owls calling before each other. Not hearing anything now, but I'll shut up soon. Um, also, we got to hear like an owl maybe take down a rabbit or something and it cry out for help. That was pretty cool. I think that happened twice last night. Overall, it was a great night spent here. And today we woke up had our nice pancake breakfast. Of course, uh, I forgot the attachment for the grill, so we had to improvise, like seems to be a reoccurring problem during our camping trips. I'll get better soon, I swear, dear. And uh, then we had to, we were running low on water. It's amazing how much water you uh, use out here. We had a 20 liter jug, especially in the heat, we were drinking quite a bit. So we uh, ch paddled, checked out the other campsites, Took us more, a little more than an hour to get back to the car. Got ourselves some more drinking water and then spent another hour getting back to the site. Somehow the wind was always uh, going against us. Amazing if you ask me. But at least there weren't any boats causing us any wakes or anything. It was actually quite nice and good to get out. And like I said, we were able to keep cool out on the lake. Then we went for a nice walk to the uh, almost to the road to see the uh, the bridge going across there. And we got to see some uh, puffball mushrooms, some black walnut trees, some great uh, prairie, flowery, uh, tall grass prairie type areas, with lots of flowers. And our vegetable wraps for dinner. And a nice fire now, I'm gonna settle down. Looks like we missed most of the rain that was coming here through here today. It turned out nice. We actually, we didn't get wet here. It was a little wet on the beach but not wet here in the trees. So uh, last day out here in Wildwood, we're gonna pack up and eat a little something and paddle out. It's getting up now around 8.30 after the rain has stopped. We've got a decent amount of rain. Overall, a great trip. I'd be happy to come back to this spot. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. You know, the shorter drive makes up for a lot of it. The um, you do get quite the nature besides you get some boats, you do get some people. You know, it's also the same thing you sometimes find up north. Uh, the traffic noise is a little out there, but even, you know, you go to Highway 60 in Algonquin, you're going to get traffic noise. So overall, not bad. I give it a pretty good rating. You do feel like you're out in nature. Yeah, at night you can see the lights from uh, London and Woodstock. It kind of takes away from the stargazing, but not by much. We tried to see the Crusades the last two nights, but weren't able to. We believe we saw a few, but it was very hard to see them. Anyways, guys, a great trip. And I uh, look forward to catching you on the next one. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.